Hey guys, today I'm in Chinatown. I was invited to grab coffee and get dinner later. So I figured let's make a whole day of it. Let's just do everything in Chinatown today. So our first stop is at Gabby Coffee. And I like this place because it's a secret coffee shop. So you know I love a secret location. And they don't advertise outside or anything, so that's what makes it a secret. But it, it has like a warehouse vibe, and they have weird tables, and it's just kind of cool. I've only been here a few times, but I like it. The coffee's good. So this is our first stop. And then later we are gonna go to a popular ramen spot in Chinatown. I've never been there, and I actually don't think I've ever gone to like an actual ramen restaurant. Sure, well, this says Spring Mountain closed at Las Vegas Boulevard. Uh, we are headed to Spring Mountain. That is where Chinatown is. But we're not going to Las Vegas Boulevard, so I'm hoping I can go the other direction. Whenever I'm driving in the summer and I get stuck under a bridge, I will purposely like scoot up to the shade or stay. So like say there wasn't a car there, I would just stop here so my car could stay in the shady part while I wait in traffic. and then you come over here to pick up your order. Actually, Gabby got the ugly drink. <laughs> That's not my ugly drink. It looks like iced tea. This, this is not gonna work out. Um, your sandwich looks so good. What drink did you get? I got the Taro Fairy with almond milk iced latte. And then mine over here. <laughs> It's so ugly. <laughs> I was really craving a salad, but I didn't see one on the menu I liked, and I didn't know that this came with a salad, so that actually works out. Everything at Gabby Coffee was really good. I had coffee with Gabby at Gabby. <laughs> I will not be ordering an Americano again. I just was not a fan. It's exactly what the description was and we just couldn't believe that that's actually what it was. Espresso and water, like, I don't know. It just was not delicious. It was very strong and just not sweet. So now I know. Um, the breakfast sandwich was delicious. The salad was pretty good. Honestly, everything I've had there has been good. So I think last time I got the grilled cheese. So Gabby sandwich had pesto on it so I know I didn't have that but they have one like without the ham and then maybe okay I either had a croissant sandwich or the grilled cheese but I know I had chips and hers had chips that was good the sandwich I had today the ham cheese egg croissant was delicious the croissant was so good um I do think it's really weird they don't have mochi donuts there so Gabby Boutique is just like a small version of this place. So I was like, oh my gosh, their mochi donuts are the best. Of course, the main location would have them. But I didn't remember ever seeing them there. And I thought that was weird, but I was like, maybe I just didn't notice. I feel like that location, like the main Gabby location, Gabby Coffee, I guess that's what it's called. The secret coffee shop. 
I think their thing is macaroons, whereas the Gabby Boutique, I guess, mochi donuts is their thing. Um, but now I'm just gonna run some errands, have some stuff to take care of, and then later we are gonna go to a ramen place called Ramen Show. Ramen Show 2, I think. Um, I've never been there, so I was invited by Stacy Morsi, and she said it's delicious, that it's the best ramen. So that's where we're going. I'm giving you guys two food options in Chinatown today. Um, you know what is a delicious food option in Chinatown? <laughs> the hibachi truck that was in my recent video. The hibachi truck is one of the best things in Chinatown. So mas por favor, my favorite tacos, those are in Chinatown. Um, hibachi truck, they open at 8 p.m. That is also in Chinatown, like the very beginning of Chinatown. So if you're coming from the strip, it's like right when you like start to come into Chinatown, the truck parks on a street there. Um, oh, crunchies also in Chinatown, but they have other locations in Vegas. So it's not just a Chinatown thing anymore. And then Gabby coffee. Okay. So like the coffee that I ordered today at Gabby coffee was not delicious, but it's just because I, it's what I ordered. Like that's what it was. But in the past, I've done like a vanilla ice latte, so good and cute. That's another thing I didn't like about my drink. I felt like it was so ugly. And like I understand like the milk or cream or whatever is what like adds the different color which makes it more aesthetically appealing, I guess. So then when I added the cocoa powder thinking it's gonna look like this drink in the picture, but no, cause my drink didn't have cream. So that kind of sucked. So anyway, my point, there's lots of good places in Chinatown. And honestly, I hear about a lot of good restaurants here, but it's just, I can't keep up. Like I can't try every single restaurant, you know, like I'm trying, but we just, we don't have enough time to try all of them. But I hear about a lot of good places like, oh, it's in Chinatown, it's in Chinatown. And I'm like, really? So I'm glad I'm trying a ramen place because I never have. I don't think I've ever tried a ramen restaurant before. Stacy and I decided to come to the Chinatown mall. How are you? Uh, let me see it. Gosh, that is cute. You're like, Frank, look what I bought. <laughs> look, that's even cute. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. <laughs> see, I think this would be a really good store for gifts. It's just. There's even like little Hello Kitty ones, like soup bowls. Those are cute. I just, I think Hello Kitty everything. Look, these bowls are really cute. Those are so like cute. rice bowls. We have arrived. Ramen show. Okay, so normally I don't like hard seats, but look, they have cushions. That's so good. First time I've ever seen egg in it, but I like it. It's kind of like breakfast. Whoa, look at the reflection off of the Trump Hotel. Oh my gosh, it's like blinding me. Looks like the sun. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. You can get in front of me. He's probably blinded by the Trump Tower. coolest signs at this location. Someone that works here is very talented with chalk. Belle asked if I was checking in. I was like, no, I'm just going to Starbucks. The reason I came here though to go to Starbucks is because I thought the other ones might be closed and I need to get a gift card, but um, they didn't have gift cards. So we literally came to South Point for a water and now we're leaving. So now the other locations for sure are gonna be closed. Well, this was not a successful stop. When I was running my errands earlier, I just forgot to go to Starbucks to get this gift card. Then I was like, oh dang it, I have to get that. I mean, like, I don't have to get it today. I just had to turn the sound down because 
it's just not posting and it just keeps playing over and over and it's just posting with like a little thing. Dinner was good. I ended up not getting ramen because it's really hot outside and I've never had ramen and you know, so I don't know what I'm missing because I've never had it. I did get spam asubi and it was different. It had eggs on it. I've never had it like that. And then the sauce was on the side. Usually it's kind of like in between and it was good. It felt like a, a lighter version and it was easier to eat because I do like to peel most of the seaweed off. Like I know that doesn't make sense, but that's how I do it. I feel like it's just hard to bite through the seaweed. So with that one, I literally could peel all the seaweed off and it just like stayed together perfectly. So it was really good. My reel is still trying to post. So that place is very affordable. It's in Chinatown. Stacy invited me and she said she found it because she did research on the best ramen place in Vegas and that's what she came up with. So everyone was really nice. We also went to the Chinatown mall. So when I was like, oh, do you wanna go to the mall? And she's like, and I was like, it's not like any mall. It's not what you're expecting. It's not what you're thinking. But I feel like it's cool, it's different. I go in there maybe once a year, you know, whenever I'm like exploring Chinatown. I like to go in there, see what's different. Um, we really wanted to go in the Hello Kitty store, but it was closed. They don't really have hours there. Like I said, like you can go there. It, it's kind of like hit or miss. Everything could be open, everything could be closed. Uh, I would say the best store was closed, so. My reel is still not posting. If you guys don't already, go follow me on Instagram. Yes, I know my phone screen is orange, I'm aware. Um, so I didn't complete all my errands earlier. So now we're gonna finish the rest of the stuff I have to do. That reminds me two things. I cracked my screen protector last night. I don't know how, I didn't drop my phone, but it's cracked. And this is a new screen protector because if you remember, I cracked my screen protector at Pinball Hall of Fame last week. So this is a brand new one in the corner. I'm like, you know what? Maybe I got some defective screen protectors because I did not drop my phone last night. And so I'm thinking like, okay, what could have cracked it? So it's not bad. It's just little, it's like in the corner. So I'm just letting it live its life until it becomes an issue. And then I'm gonna have to find some different screen protectors. But while I grabbed my phone, I need to check lots of slots. We have way more members than we had in the beginning and it's fun. So you log in every day or every hour. If you log in every hour, you get coins and I try to log in once a day so I can send you guys coins and then you complete missions. And so basically you play the games, like there's certain missions every day, you play the games and then you get money. Grocery shopping is my least favorite activity. I hate it, I dread it. So we're definitely getting chicken because I don't wanna have to come to Sprouts for a couple more weeks. I just talked to Ariel and he invited me somewhere. I'm not being vague. He literally wouldn't tell me where he's inviting me to. Um, he's like, do you want to go? Is it a restaurant? Is it a club? Is it a bar? Like, what is it? So he's like, I don't know. So then when we get off the phone, he's like, so do you want to go? And I'm like, Ariel, unless you tell me what it is, I cannot say yes. <laughs> he's like, okay, let me find out. I like to get the little carts when I come. So then the stuff is just like higher up. Okay, I'm home now. Um, I got asparagus and some chicken. I got a call when I was at the grocery store, so I got distracted and that's all I ended up buying. I just got invited to this Barbie event at Resorts World. I just got home from being over that direction and I'm so tired. The only reason I'm like kind of considering it is because I haven't washed off my makeup yet, so I could like add to this and like put on some lashes and like change but do I want to do all that to drive back over to the strip I looked at their Instagram it's called like babes and bubbles <laughs> so it's like champagne but it's Barbie themed okay I would like to know when is the Barbie thing over because like the movie came out like it should be over right <laughs> circle was the last Barbie thing for me so I'm like looking at the Instagram, like, okay, what is this? Like, should I go? And then I'm like, I, I love champagne. I can't drink it though. So I'm like, I can't even have champagne. I look like a zombie. So it's not like I'm gonna wanna take pictures. I'm not gonna go. Holly, come here. 
I literally walked over there and I was like, here she is, she's here. Like maybe I should grab Hollywood before I end the video, you know? I'm like, Hollywood, come here, as she's coming around the corner, come here. Say hello to your friends. I'm not going. I just said I'm not going. I think the Barbie thing should be over. We're not going to encourage it. Everyone listen, stop going to Barbie, stop. We're, we're done, it's over. So I got this yesterday on Michael's and I had a credit that I had to use like a voucher. I don't know why they emailed me. They said, you have a voucher. Then they said it was expiring. So I'm like, well, let me go to Michael's. So I got it for free. Boo Brews. They had one with a cat and it was cute and I was going to get it for Hollywood, but then it was like messed up. It was, the sticker was coming off. So, so we got this one, Hollywood approves. Um, so I'm like, Did you just hear that? Did you just hear that ferocious tiger run across the room? She's nuts. It's the boo -brews. Okay, guys. Thanks for hanging out. I will see you next time. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, guys.